Hey, it's Jenny. For Christmas, I got a Crock-Pot Express, but I'm going to be making beef stew for the first time. This is something I've never tried, and people say this is foolproof, so we'll see if that's really true. There's a saute function on the Crock-Pot Express, which is really convenient because you only have to use this one pot. There's no multiple pots to clean up afterwards. So I'm just getting it ready um, to saute. And so I'll get to heat it up and put the meat in and brown it before I put the stew together. One of the problems I do have with the Crock-Pot Express, as with all pots, is that they just sit too high. So thankfully on my chair, I do have a lift function. So I'm just gonna go on up and I might lose you out of the picture for a little bit. From what I understand, you were just going to try to brown the beef. We're not actually cooking it through. Once it heats up, sprinkle in some flour, which will help brown it, and um, just cook it up real quickly, and then see what happens. This is my first time. One of the reasons that I wanted to try the Crock-Pot Express was to be able to cook more meat. Meat is just difficult for me to cook, so I thought this might be a way to make things a little bit more easy, so we'll find out. minced garlic. I'm a little afraid to overcook it, so I'm just gonna stop. Beef stock. These are potatoes that have already been cut and diced. And I do that because I have a personal care attendant on Fridays, and what takes her about 10 minutes would take me about 40, so. This is already done, so we're just gonna add these in. After they're cubed, um, I have her put them in an airtight container covered in water. And if they're not covered in water, they will turn brown. Carrots. All of the spices. Oh, the tomato sauce. I knew I was forgetting something. Worcestershire sauce. Recipe called for about a teaspoon, so I'm gonna do it. The reason I chose a crock pot express rather than the instant pot was because it seemed like the lid was much easier to fit on. I just wanna make sure that there's no pressure coming out. And then 
in there and then you click it into place and that's all you have to do. And we're gonna put it on stew for 35 minutes. And these are all push button. And we're gonna push start. So, we'll see how it goes. All right, so it's time and it's been 10 minutes since the alarm went off. And then you have to wait for it to depressurize. And this recipe called for it to wait 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes, I'm going to turn it off. But I still have to do the release valve and that allows the additional pressure to be released. And when you do that, you have to do it very carefully because it's hot steam. So what I have been doing is just having a spatula or something long and turning it. Reach over, push that little valve and let it out. And just wait until all of the steam is released. I do have to say it smells incredible in here. My friend told me to use uh, Earth de Provence in this recipe, and I think it's gonna be great because it smells incredible. Even though this has taken about an hour to make, I still had a good 45 minutes where I didn't have to keep an eye on a pot. That freed me up to go and check the mail, clean off the table that you probably saw behind me that was a disaster. So it really gave me 45 minutes that I didn't have to watch a pot and worry about always stirring something. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, it's released. So now I can open it, turn the lid. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna put this on the stove since it's hot. I heated up some warm bread, a baguette, so I'll have that as a little side. All right. So here it is. That looks like beef stew to me. Um, and let's see how it tastes. It's really good. The carrots are really tender, but the flavors are really good. The potatoes are done and the meat looks awesome. So the meat falls apart, literally. So don't even need a fork. Don't need to cut anything. It was pre-cubed for me. I bought it that way at the store. So I think this is a winner. I'll put the recipe in the link and hope you get to try it.